What is up guys, it's your boy Cypher and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the all new quick sampler feature inside of Logic to flip your samples into completely different ideas. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite new tools in the last update because they've made it so much easier for you to just take a sample, drag it in and chop it up and then mess with it to create completely different ideas. Before you'd have to chop up your sample and then drag them all into the EXS24 sampler and map each chop to whatever note that you wanted but they've made it so much more efficient now and I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So first thing you're going to want to do is find yourself a sample and I've got this sample here and for those of you who don't know I actually started a second channel about two months ago and every day I've been posting a new sample to that channel for producers like you guys to use in your beats and to flip however you want and all those samples are free to use for profit no catch anything all I want is a link to your final project whatever so I can check it out and show my support as well so I'll leave a link to that channel in the description below if you're interested and the sample I'm going to be using is titled victory and I'm going to be showing you guys what I did to this sample and how I flipped it to create a completely different sample that's also up on my channel. So after you get yourself a sample, you're going to want to find a 4-8 to eight bar phrase inside of it that you want to flip. And I already know that I want to flip this region right here. So what I'm going to do is just highlight that section right there. And I'm going to right click and choose split by locators and then press Control b to bounce it in place. And basically what this does is it gets rid of the audio information that's before and after it, so that way when we drag it into the sampler we don't have to worry about all that extra stuff because we're not going to use it anyways. Then what you want to do is just take it and drag it over to this left column here and choose Quick Sampler Original. And what that's going to do is it's going to load it into this Quick Sampler here and already chop it up for you. Sometimes it might open up in the classic mode and what that is is it basically just maps this entire sample to each of these keys at a different pitch. So if we play this here you can hear it's at one pitch and if we play it up here it plays it slightly higher and so on and so on. But what we want is the slice option because that's what creates actual different chops for each of these different um, keys. So right now what it's doing is chopping up our sample at each of the transients and what I like to do when I'm chopping up stuff is actually use the beat division mode and I like to decrease this to about one because that gives us a little bit more of an audio clip to work with as you can see and a couple of things you want to do before you start messing around with it is if you play it you'll notice that you can hear a sort of clipping and to fix that you just want to come over here to the attack and increase that to about one and you can hear that there's no more of that popping of sound and another thing is if you play a couple of notes really quickly you can hear they sort of overlap and we don't want that and that's because of this polyphony setting here it's set to 16 voices we want to set it to one so that way as soon as we play a different note it cuts the first note and just continues on with the second note so now that we've done that, we can mess around with our chops here until we get a pattern that we like. And you can also play around with this division setting to get different kinds of feels and chop it up in a way that you wouldn't have thought of. So I'm going to try messing around with the divisions at 4 and see what I come up with. Alright guys, so you can see the pattern that I've come up with and I think it sounds pretty good. Another thing you might notice is that I actually increased the velocity of all these notes to the maximum at 127 so that they play the actual audio chop at the original volume and it's not quieter than what we wanted it to be. So let's take a quick listen and see how it sounds. And I think that sounds pretty good. 
And if we take a listen to our original sample that we used, you can hear just how different it actually is. Another thing I like to do when I'm flipping a sample is to actually bounce it after I'm done chopping it like this and finding a new pattern. And what I'll do is select it and come up here to the flex time, turn it on and switch it to polyphonic, and then come over to the transpose and either transpose it up or down a little bit and see if I can come up with something that sounds a little bit more different. So I really like that and think that sounds pretty cool, so I'm going to leave it at that. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add some more instruments and sound to this and finish off the beat, and I'll play that for you guys as soon as I'm done. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, guys.